Hey guys, how are ya? So, I'm walking through here rather quickly. Because <laughs> I've already been here once before. I'm at the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia. Uh, I've already been through once and got emotional <laughs> looking at it. But um, I wanted to go to uh, take the tour of the Constitution and all that stuff. And so I had to go get a ticket to do that. But I figured I'd walk through here again and actually film the bell, which I did not do earlier. There is the Liberty Bell. How cool is this? Okay, so this is take two for me today. So I'll do a little quick tour of the bell. Look at that. There's the crack. Isn't that wonderful? Now, I totally encourage you, if you have the opportunity to come in and take a tour of this, it is really quite emotional to see this, but also to, so there's one more little shot before I walk away. How nice is this? And look, it's so quiet here. Look. Uh, I was here last year. And there was a line that probably took 40 minutes to get through <laughs> to get in here. Um, wow. You know, if, if you have a chance, come and do the tour uh, to, uh, of the Liberty Bell. See it. It's, it's free. You don't need tickets. I was here earlier and saw the, the bell. And um, then I wanted to walk over here to Independence not sure if you can see this. I can't see anything. The sun's in my face. Uh, into Independence Square, I think it's called. And uh, I wanted to come over here and do a tour. But I needed a ticket, which I had to get way back there. And so, look at what a beautiful day here in Philadelphia. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So it is about 12.20. My tour is at one o'clock. I have to go in there. Where is my finger right there? I have to go in there. Uh, but security is down there. Which I've already been through, but then when I got all the way in there, I realized I needed a ticket to actually get in there and do the tour. So, blah, blah, blah. So I am having a spectacular morning, uh, day here in Philadelphia. So I was up way too late last night. I was, ex I was exhausted after the flight uh, here from Atlanta. Super trip, I don't know why, just easy, but wipe me out for some reason. Um, so I got to the room and I was awake till, I don't know, three, 3.30, just could not get to sleep. And uh, so this morning I slept until like 10 and I felt really bad because I figured, oh, I like an early start and I was like, oh man, my day is already starting too late. I'm not going to have a chance to see anything because it's going to take so long to get into Philadelphia uh, from where I was near the airport. So um, I go down to the front desk and um, I ask the front desk uh, lady, um, you know, what's the easiest way to get into the downtown Philadelphia to see the Liberty Bell. She's like, well, you can take an Uber, there's a cab, you can take the train, you can do this. What I really wanted, to be honest, was step-by-step -step directions, because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, last time I was here, I was with a coworker who just took me here. I didn't know, I didn't even pay attention. Um, and so I was like, all right, well, I'll take an Uber, $23 it would have cost me. And so um, I happened to look around and I saw this woman who was, uh, seemed to be working there, and she was uh, doing lots of stuff, and she seemed to really look like she knew what she was doing. So I walked up to her and said, hey, you know, hi, my name is Steven. I'm trying to get into Philadelphia to see the Liberty Bell. Do you know what would the easiest way to get there would be? You know, uh, by the light rail or whatever. And she's like, oh, well, if you have a minute, I'm going there, I'm going, I can go in that direction. I'm like, oh, all right, great, uh, thanks. And she picked up also, a uh, a uh, flight attendant from Southwest who had to go to the airport. And so um, we got in her uh, SUV 
and um, she dropped off the flight attendant from Southwest at the airport, and then she literally dropped me off in front of the Liberty Bell building. <laughs> and it turns out she didn't even work for the hotel. She was just doing a good deed. Uh, we had this amazing conversation uh, on the way here. She said, you know, I live in the city of brotherly love um, and I try to be an example of brotherly love. And so she just heard that I needed to go in this direction and offered a ride. And I got in her car thinking she worked for the airport for the hotel, <laughs> but whatever. Um, it was It was really, the sweetest gesture and we had the most amazing conversation about um, you know how it's possible not just possible but it's rewarding it's a wonderful thing to love a stranger to show compassion care and, and love to people who need it who who don't even know you and uh, we just had the most amazing time um, talking about her kids and her acting and um, just we just had a wonderful time and she was so generous uh, with her her time and her effort and her spirit to drop me off uh, here where I wanted to be leaving me plenty of time to enjoy this gorgeous friggin day in Philadelphia um, so I got to see the Liberty Bell I saw it last year on a layover um, but there were there must have been a thousand maybe not a thousand people there were a lot of people and it was just even hard to see it never mind actually get a chance to wander around and really look you know so now um, I know I have to go through security again so I'm gonna have to stop talking to you guys lucky you um, but uh, I'm gonna go in that building right there to start a tour of the West Wing and I hope the Constitution uh, or the Declaration of Independence or something. I'm not sure what I'll see. Uh, if I can film, I will. If I can't, uh, I won't. Um, but um, I wanted to say thank you very much for watching. And for those of you, and I know there's a lot of you because uh, I read your comments. For those of you who also do your best to try to be a good human being, <laughs> And to love strangers and show people who need a little care um, some love. Thank you. Um, because this woman today, just by driving me to this little spot here, um, really rekindled a very, um, very important spark in my heart. So um, uh, Fox, which is her, what she goes by. Uh, I don't know if you'll ever see this, but I love you. I really think that you're an amazing human being and you made this very, very nice day possible and you touched my heart. Um, and uh, in this season of Vlogmas, what a great time of year to be touched, right? All right, so um, there you go. You saw the Liberty Bell. You heard a very long rambling story about how I got down here. And um, I will talk to you guys later. God, it's beautiful here. It's probably in the 50s. It's just gorgeous. All right. I keep talking. I will talk to you guys later. Fly safe. I'm going to go see something historical. <laughs>